Where did you train how to bake? I'd love to believe I'm a self-taught baker. Um, how it started is my sheer love um, for baking started in my mom's kitchen many years ago. I think since my like around the same age as my daughter now i used to watch my mom bake i used to copy from my mom a lot of things and i developed a love for cooking and baking um so yeah i, I owe my mom a lot for that she she started the whole foundation you know and then um moved over my sister-in-law had her own cake company so she left her work as well her job just to do that full time. So I used to go and help out, you know, do the little flowers and I really enjoyed it. And so you got yeah, the mentoring. there was a lot. Yeah, yeah, mentoring yeah, mentoring yeah, from, yeah. From certainly. So when I came into England, um, it was it was a bit of a lonely experience. Not a lot of people were doing cakes then. Um, I was still young. So whilst I was waiting to go to college, I just started doing cakes like as, as a hobby, which then developed into a business and people love my cakes. That's how I just started. That's brilliant. Hat number three. <laughs> okay, so hat number three is the creations, um, which is the events. I'm a luxury event planner, event stylist. So our company is a bespoke all in one. So we do the styling as well as the planning for weddings. Um, we also do wedding proposals. Um, if you want to surprise or wow your loved one um, to a great um engagement proposal um we can come to you style up set it all up make it look glam romantic even if it's the bedroom styling everything just to make the scene look quintessentially yours we work with you to give you the best and make sure it's customized to your liking um, we also do um, fine dining experience where we bring the ambience of a restaurant to your own home we style it up set it up do the cooking, dish you up, serve you well, as if you're in a proper restaurant. Um, have the glamorous, you know, we also have the photo, photo shoot experience as well, or the gifting experience. And yeah, we dish it up to you. So now, um, we'll start with proposals. If my son wants to propose, okay. um, can they contact you? Or what do you have to offer for proposals? Because I see it's on one of your main lists. Yes, certainly. We're not just restricted to the United Kingdom. We do offer destination weddings where we can arrange with the planners from Spain and we will offer you that service. We'll travel for you, specifically for you, and make sure your day is, um, you know, at the top to the T. So definitely we do offer um, destination wedding packages. So we can come out wherever you are in the world, we can come out. And um, if my daughter wants to get married in Spain, can yeah. we export your services to go and do the setup there? Yes, certainly. We're not just restricted to the United Kingdom. We do offer destination weddings where we can arrange with the planners from Spain and we will offer you that service. We'll travel for you, specifically for you, and make sure your day is, um, you know, at the top to the T. So definitely we do offer um, destination wedding packages. So we can come out wherever you are in the world, we can come out. So even to Zimbabwe to say, okay, we need to go and do this wedding back home. No limitations anywhere in the world. Wow, that's brilliant. And how about the personalization? There's something in your, um, in your whether it's a motto or in your brand, yeah. which talks about uh, personalized, bespoke, um, and be it branded packages or corporate cakes. So, what do you mean when you say it's personalized? Okay, so personalized, um, it's all bespoke. So, when we say personalized, you know, um, if you have a corporate event going on, we can even customize, like, you know, the favors, it could be the cupcakes that you decide to give to your clients or to your employees or whoever it is. So they will have your own brand on them. So branded specifically for your own business. So we do offer that. That's where we have the bespoke or customized, you know, personalized to your own touch to make it feel like it's you, not just us. There's all these, these, these nice posh names of the things you do. There's one called a party in a bag. Party in a bag because um, I realized, yes, I'm specializing um, with luxury events, but we also have um, people where we need to meet them halfway as well. So instead of me coming to you, I'll just design your party in a bag, especially for kids' parties. Like, you know, you've got the unicorn parties, you've got the spa pamper packages for the little girls as well. So we put everything, I, I get everything, compile it 
put it in a bag post it to you and then you get to set up because sometimes you're too busy to even think of the ideas i do the mood board for you i set out the vision for you i send it all out to you and all you have to do is just to set up or we get to have a conference call or like um, a zoom call where i show you where exactly to put where and just set it up or just send a photo with the complete thing and then you just know where to put it so everything's done for you indeed so what inspires you who's your inspiration my inspiration my greatest inspiration to be fair um i'm inspired above all um i get my inspiration from god um because without the lord up there I wouldn't be where I am. Um, praying, taking everything down to prayer. I'm inspired through visions, through you know dreams, through my passion, through my purpose. And I really give it all to God, to be fair, to be where I am today. And I'm really grateful. And um, I also find inspiration in my little girl, Michaela. She is my biggest cheerleader, um, bless her. Anything I do, oh wow, mom, this looks amazing, mom. You know, she's the biggest cheerleader. And I just look at her and I see myself, you know, at that age as well, like in my mom's kitchen or whatever I was doing as well. And I'm inspired so much because I wanted to go further than where I've been in life. So just looking at her, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I can't be asked. I'm not waking up today. I'm, I'm not leaving bed. I'm tired. But then I just think of Michaela. I'm like, you know what? I need to do this. I need to give her the life that I never had. So she's my biggest inspiration in my life. And I'm also inspired by a lot of women out there making it big time despite all the odds. And in your spare time, how do you treat yourself? I know there's all this luxury <laughs> desserts. Are you always like binging on them? Wow, it's, um, to be fair, I think because of the baking, I've, I've got to a point where I cannot even enjoy my own stuff. Um, I will taste, yeah, here and there, but then I think I taste more with my, with my nostrils. So as I'm cooking, there's a lot of smoke. I can tell it's gone wrong just by the scent. So because of the cooking, it just overpowers me and I don't feel like I can have my own stuff. But somebody else's, definitely, yeah. But do you eat out? Do you go and eat out like and, yeah. and enjoy some people's meals? Yeah, I do. I love to dine out a lot. I love to exper experiment with different restaurants, um, a lot of places, different cuisines as well. Um, I love going for girly time out, you know, afternoon teas, spas, you know, um, experiences. And I just love, I'm an, I'm an adventurous girl and I love, I'm quite outgoing as well. So anything that involves fun and class, definitely. <laughs> and traveling. And um, the challenges, do you face any challenges as a single mother? It's, it's quite challenging, I will not lie. Um, before you move into it, you're like, how am I going to do it? Um, how am I ever going to raise a little child? Like, I, I grew up in a family where I had both my mom and dad. And starting to think, how am I really going to manage this? Like, I'm not used to it. But then um, it's been challenging, yes. And it's all the stereotype as well that's outside, you know. Um, it makes it harder sometimes. But then um, you just think of the end goal. If, if somebody else has done it before with nothing, what can stop me, you know? So those are some of the challenges that we face and also being black, I will not lie, sometimes it's a bit hard, but then I fight those odds like it's nothing. I'm, I'm human. I'm not going to use that like as an excuse. Um, being in this country, obviously moving into a foreign land, it's, it's not going to be easy to adjust, you know, but we're still making it. We're still braving. We still have people who support us. And, you know, if you want something, you'll make it happen despite all the odds. And juggling will not, it's, it's not easy. You're trying to focus on work. You're trying to focus on raising a child. Um, the good thing is we co-parent well um, So with the dad. So it makes life easier. But at the same time, it's, sometimes you need to be at work. So one thing has to give in. And most of the times it's obviously my passion. But at the same time, I'm thinking if I kill the passion, how am I going to take care of her and raise her to give her a life that I've always wanted to, to have? So it comes balancing. This is where we have things like at the table. We meet with different women who are going through a lot of challenges and we help each other as in a support system. How do we do it? I've got a great support system of family who help me as well. Like, you know, like times where I need to work. Um, Michaela is is happy she's loved like you've you've seen her she's loved lucky enough yeah so it's easy for her to gel with people and sometimes i get some time just to make it work to make it work but it's it's hard but the hard bit of it it's nice when you look at the end goal as well um what can you say to young ladies because it seems um they're always competing. All of a sudden you see Auntie B trying to run with some cakes, which I can't bake. To young women, what I can say is never underestimate yourself and never underestimate the capabilities that you have within you. 
everyone is born with different talents with a special gift and if you know you have something you have that strong urge in you that desire to work on something nothing can stop you go for it nothing will ever stop you and i remember when i came into england um back then it was easier to get into nursing and definitely i would have loved to go into nursing but because it wasn't my passion then um i felt like if i did it i'm just going to do it for the wrong reasons and i'm going to hate that job same as i went into employment i never loved my job as much as it was comfortable but when passion meets purpose nothing can ever stop you and if you set your heart to try something nothing will ever stop you you will make it if they've made it out there with nothing what can stop you nothing so here i am i've got a child um i could say that's an excuse um i need to juggle you know mommy life but then we're still making it happen because i believe the end goal is quite fulfilling seeing your dreams come to fruition is the most rewarding thing ever so nothing will ever stop you go for it one what do you think is your purpose in life well i believe my purpose um is to help um other people especially women like myself um i believe um i'm a shoulder to lean on i'm a support system um and i also believe i bring the creative side into the world um which touches people in different ways as much as it might be simple i believe my creativity or my creative flair is what i have um as a purpose because with my creative flair um i can do home deco i can do event styling i can do the creations so anything hands and palms with creations anything creative um I believe I have a touch to it and I I believe um when passion meets purpose that's it so I'd love to believe that's what I have to bring to the world I aspire I aspire to inspire Indeed we love your creations and they do bring purpose oh. some of us love things we are a lover of things, <laughs> we love things and we need these creative ideas yes. um to come into our life and and women we should stop trying to do everything exactly. I believe I'm not a creative person a baker yeah. but I love things I love luxury and why not them come in and That's provide that luxury and and you know the thought of people working from morning till evening varora as if life is full of being enslaved even on your own birthday I don't want to cook on my birthday I don't want to cook when 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 my son gets married I want Pam's creations. I want the luxury. And thank you for saving that purpose for being a gap. And thank you for empowering each other with other women at the table for providing that um that place to be because I think it's a lack of places like that for women to meet yeah. that makes them have negative thoughts yeah. and think that they are alone out yeah. there. But thank you for being there for your sisters and thank you for making a difference in our community. Oh, thank you so much. It has much. been such a pleasure having Pam Sweet Creations. She has brought sweetness to tea with Bibi. And um as you can see, I wish she could come every day <laughs> and add on her sweet creations. Um we hope you've been empowered and inspired uh, as young ladies out there. and um thank you for watching sia bonga tino tenda and hey ho why not look for pam to do those creations for your special occasions thank you for watching and see you soon thank you baby